Okay, we'll do a video today and um, show you how to replace the throttle body on the 2.2 litre uh, Freelander 2. This might also be the same on the Range Rover Evoque. So basically this is a butterfly valve that limits the air intake to the engine. It's got a motor on the outside here and a series of cogs in here. We might strip one down actually. Um, and it powers that valve and makes that valve sort of rotate like so. Now. Our Freelander 2, our new project car, is making a strange noise and we've traced it down. So it's, it's, it sits here in the engine, so you can see we're in the engine bay. It sits here. So Ian's going to start the car now. Start now. It's not making too much of a noise now. Turn it off Ian and see if it... Oh. Is squealing like a little piggy and then it stops now to me that doesn't sound good so we're going to try putting a a new or another one on um, and see if that one squeals like a piglet so we'll go and get some tools and we'll we'll whip that off okay so we're just gonna whip off the two bolts here so there's two eight mil sockets we'll do that actually that's we're doing that with a spanner we'll have to get a socket on that one We'll get the socket. So remove those two. Now there is actually uh, a nut at the back that holds that holds this this on. We haven't refitted it on ours, but it's in the back corner. There you go. You can see where it should be there. So whip that off, and then we'll we'll lift off this engine noise cover. Okay, so we can lift the cover up. It's on like little poppers at the back, and we did this. Right, we've got enough room to slide that out, we've just got to lift that, that's it. Right, so that's the noise cover, and that'll give us a bit of better view of what's going on. So there we go now. Um, right. right, we're just going to remove this hose because this water hose is a right, it's right in the way. Now we'll do that more for the video, you don't necessarily need to do it. Um, I'm going to whip that off. We pulled that spring clip up there. Take it all the way off so it doesn't go flying. Yeah, go. Hopefully we don't drop it. Okay, the last thing uh, we whip that clip out, and then the pipe should just wiggle off. Then sort of pseudo quick release, really, aren't they? Is it quick release or quick assembly for the factory? I don't think it was freezing out here. Okay, yeah. So we'll just... Right, and that'll allow us to take that hose there and tuck him right out the way. It's got a bit of pinkness to it. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Right, okay. So while that's draining, we can now see a little bit better what we're trying to get to. So what's the plan now? Let's go with those. Now that top one, I think, is the EGR valve, isn't it? That should well, be, yeah. You've got your exhaust comes round. So we'll, we'll just take the connector off that again because he's, he's in the way. So, so we're just lifting that little that right flap please. there. Right. And let's undo that bottom connector there. What's the plan on him? Is, that, oh, is, the, is there a little pressy thing at the back? It's a lift. Is it a lift? Push. Lift and separate. So you just need to lift that front edge. Lift that up, leaving that up, okay. All right, that's the connectors out of the way. Now what are we down to? Yeah. Oh, there's a little one on the front here, on this little front bit, there's um, a little cable clip there. We've just released the, do you have to squeeze it to get her underneath? Yeah, oh. probably. Underneath, not too easy to get to. Get to, yeah. yeah. Okay. We can, on those, you can cut the cable tie because yeah. they're re-cable they're re -cable tieable. So let's cut the cable tie on that. Right, we're just going to cut the cable tie across there. Put a new one of those in yet. Don't cut through the wires. It's a little bit awkward to try and get on. It's a little bit tricky to get in, isn't it? Right, yeah, so we've got to take that EGR valve connector, sensor, whatever it is, out. What's that torque? I'm pointing the camera the wrong way. Torque 
Xbox T25, I think. T30. T30. Is that, does that pull up? What's the plan with that one? Feels like it's just Oh, there you go. So what's that, some sort of a uh, pressure sensor? sensor probably, yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm not doing very good camera work today. Right, yeah. Temp. It'll be oily and... Yeah. Uh, from right, there. put that to one side. Right, and now that should give us... The, yeah, so that'll give us access now to that... And what is he, T? Let's have a look. T30 again. He's T30 again, oh, that's nice. Right, how many of those have we got to get to? So it looks like if we just go to our new one, so we've got the one at the front there, which is all we're doing, and then I'm guessing we've got two round on the back corners there, have we? Yeah. How impossible are they going to be to get at? Oh, whoa, hold on. Yeah. We might have to go and get a, okay. One of them should be okay. Right, I think we've not been a good video, so we're going to have a look. Which one do you reckon you can get to? That one? That one, that one down there. Right. So, yeah, it's going to be easy to show you. So you need to get three. We'll have a look now. So we've done that one. We think we can get to this one, which is by the by that sort of motor bit there. And there should be one opposite. It's probably getting a bit dark now, but we've got a hose clip on the bottom. So, again, if I revert back to this, you can see there the bottom section here. There's a, where the hose goes on. There's a hose clip around here. So we're just done doing the hose clip and then we should have it out. And then what we'll do is rather than show you putting it back together, we'll put the new one on and we'll see how much squealing noise it makes. So we've removed them. Um, one last thing we have to do under the bonnet, but the light was running out, um, is there is another connector on the side here, which looks like um, some sort of air mass or temperature sensor. So that's the old one. This is the new one. Um, actually, this one's come with a a blank across it here, so we will we'll put the um, we'll swap that over. We'll swap that sensor over, um, and then what we'll do actually is we'll we'll see if it improves it. And if it does improve it, we'll we'll take this one apart and see what was making the squealy noise. Um, yeah, and remember remember when you put it back together, put that bolt in the in the new one as well. Ready? Okay, so we're all back on again. So let's start it up and see. See what happens. All seems good. Okay, turn it off. Oh, squeal free. Okay, so, so it's squeal free, that's all good. So we'll have a strip down of the old one now and um, yeah, and see what that does. See what's wrong with the old one. 